Hello everybody and welcome to a new episode of Transfer Market TV. My name is Casper Pop. We're going to bring you the latest news and rumors from the top leagues around the world. And it looks like that Liverpool is looking for a new midfield option with Sheffield United's Sander Bash. The Norway international moved to the Blades at the beginning of 2020 for a club record fee of 22 million pounds, but is almost certain to leave with the club now this time for relegation to the championship. Sheffield United at bottom of the Premier League, they are currently 14 points adrift of safety. As we heard, Jurgen Klopp is still waiting to find out what kind of backing he will get for the next transfer window. And X Men United and Man City goalie Peter Schmeichel reckons Jurgen Klopp might consider leaving Liverpool if the Bayern Munich job became available. But Jamie Carrier has rubbished the suggestion, saying the German will see out the remainder of his Liverpool contract regardless of interest from other top clubs. Klopp was recently linked with the German. German international team job after Joachim Löw announced plans to step down. The German rules are taking the road, pointing out that he's contracted at Anfield until 2024. Peter Schmeichel reckons a different job would probably appeal to Klopp if Hansi de Flick would become DFB coach, which is a possibility and not ruled out yet. Bayern needs a new head coach. There was a job offer from Bayern before for Klopp to take the position, but Carragher says quick to respond and shut down the suggestion, saying there's no chance Klopp cuts short his stay on Merseyside and joins Bayern Munich. We will stay tuned on this one. Manchester United reportedly believes Sporting Lisboa's white man Pedro Goncalves can be a cheaper alternative to Borussia Dortmund star Jadon Sancho in their search for a right-sided attacking player. According to The Telegraph, Goncalves has picked United's interest with a superb tally of 15 goals from 21 games in the Primera Liga and with a mooted release clause of £51.7 million would prove about half as expensive as Sancho. United Chiefs failed to agree a deal with Dortmund over Sancho last summer after assuring the chance to sign the Englishman for £108 million, seeing 22-year-old Goncalves as a genuine possibility instead of Sancho, as well as the emergence of 18-year-old Amadi yellow means the club are not as desperately keen for the ex-Manchester City winger as they previously were. And another player Manchester United seems interested in is FC Sevilla's Jules Conde after they lowered the price tag on him. So now according to information from the Sun, the Andalusians have lowered their demands instead of 80 million euros coach Julian Lepidui team is said to be asking for only around 58 million euros. Koundé has played in Spain since 2019 and is still under contract until 2024. In the current season, the 22-year-old scored just one goal in 23 games, a possible reason for a lower price tag. It looked like that four clubs are fighting for Man City legend Aguero. His contract at Man City expires in June 2021. According to the Daily Mail, FC Barcelona, Paris Saint-Germain and Chelsea FC have set have their sights on the Argentine. The 32-year-old has made just eight appearances so far this Premier League season, but according to Pep Guardiola, he wants to keep Aguero. He stated in an interview that Sergio would be a worth to fight for. Matthew Hope has been one of the very few positive stories at Schalke this season. Hope scored 5 goals in 15 Bundesliga games and has become an important leader in Schalke's attack. As a result, the 20-year-old US men's national team forward was awarded a new long-term contract that will run until the summer of 2023. Sources around the club have told Transfermarkt that there's a gentleman's agreement between the club and the player that would allow Hope to leave for the right price at the end of the season. Transfermarkt has learned that Ajax in particular has kept an eye on the striker. The Dutch Giants have not yet made an official offer to Schalke. Premier League clubs Liverpool and Tottenham Hotspur have signalled their interest in Norwich City as well also emerged as a candidate. Clubs from Germany's top four also monitoring the situation. Offers are hovering between 7 to 10 million euros. Left-back Gabriel Gutmannsen is the second-best left-back assist provider behind PSV Eindhoven's Philipp Max. The 21-year-old sweep provided five assists for FC Groningen. Gutmannsen's ability to provide stability to the defence and contribute to the attack has been noted in the Bundesliga. RB Leipzig and Borussia Dortmund in particular are interested. Gutmannsen is under contract until 2022, with an option for one additional year. Without that option, Groningen might have to sell the player if they do not want to miss out on a big fee. 
His market value was recently updated as a part of the Eredivisie Transfermarkt update from 225,000 euros to now 1.1 million. FC Liverpool has a new co-owner and it's basketball superstar LeBron James who just got a stake of 2% of the club. The 36-year-old professional from the Los Angeles Lakers announced on Tuesday evening after the 137-121 to victory in the NBA against the Minnesota Timberwolves that he and his business partner Maverick Carter had acquired shares in the Fenway Sports Group. After the extension with Angel Di Maria, Paris Saint-Germain also removed the second construction site for the coming season. The French series champion announced agreement with Juan Bernard on Tuesday. The 28-year-old signed a new working paper until June 30, 2025. Just like teammate Di Maria, Bernard was one of the most valuable professionals with a market value of 60 million euros whose contracts expired at the end of the season. Meanwhile, the situation of Julian Draxler, who recently considered a possible return to the Bundesliga, is still unclear. The Dublin teenager Shane Flynn has signed a new deal with Premier League side Leicester after impressing at the King Power Stadium in recent months. The 19-year-old is a product of the St. Joseph's Boys and Bray Warner's partnership, joining the Foxes in July 2018. In recent months, the young fullback scored an equaliser against Salford City in the AFL Trophy to take the game to penalty, which the Foxes subsequently won. He has also been named on the bench in the Premier League game against Brighton Hove Albion and he was part of Leicester's Europa League squad earlier this season. Liverpool have been praised by Guinea for reaching a smart agreement to release Naby Keita for international duty later this month. The Reds have granted permission for Keita to play in his country's Africa Cup of Nations qualifier against Mali next Wednesday. However, the midfielder will then return to England and not take part in the final group match four days later in Namibia, which is currently on the UK government's travel red list regarding the coronavirus pandemic. Had Keita travelled to Namibia, he would have had to quarantine for 10 days on his return and be ruled out for the Premier League trip to Arsenal and the first leg of Liverpool's Champions League quarterfinal three days later. Borussia Dortmund has confirmed the signing of central defender Sumaila Koulibaly for the Bundesliga squad from next season. The 17-year-old is one of the most promising players in the youth academy of the French first division club Paris Saint-Germain, as BVB announced on its website. Koulibaly has not yet booked appearances in the professional squad, but was recently allowed to train regularly with PSG's first squad. He is currently curing a knee injury. Koulibaly tore a cruciate ligament and is out for months. And now we have a market value update for you in the Premier League plus a little market value update in La Liga. And on top, we have the top 11 of the Premier League. And we're starting with the Premier League and the number 10 at Manchester United, Marcus Rashford, who made a plus of 5 million with a new market value now of 85 million euros. And the second one who's coming in is Phil Foden, the Man City midfielder with a brilliant Pass accuracy is now at 70 million and made a big plus of 10 million euros. And last but not least for the Premier League update, we have Mason Mount, the man with the number 19 at Chelsea, is a big plus of 15 million euros, now at a market value of 60 million. And now the top 11 of the Premier League with the highest market values is Alisson, still the most expensive goalie with 65 million euros. Then we have Virgil van Dijk, Alexander Arnold and Andrew Robertson, all from Liverpool. As you can see, they're deep in the crisis and losing their market values up to 25 million. Then we have Rodri, Bruno Fernandes, Kevin De Bruyne. De Bruyne down by 20 million, now at 100 million as a new market value. And then we have Mohamed Salah, who went down 10 million, is now at 110 million. Then Harry Kane up front in the storm with 120 million, still stable. And Raheem Sterling down to 100 million. So the old market value was over 1 billion and is now at 965 million euros. And now we have the market value update for La Liga with Joao Felix, Frankie de Jong and Koundé. And we're starting with Frankie de Jong who is now up at 80 million and made a big plus of 50 million recently with three goals and four assists. 
Then we have Joao Felix, who went down by 20 million, is now at 80 million euros. And I think that's fair because his time at Atletico Madrid is not even comparable to what he did at Benfica. And last but not least, Jules Conde, the FC Sevilla defender, is now up to 60 million euros and made a big plus of 10 million euros. And now, last but not least, we bring you the statistic of the day. And it's the most quarterfinal appearances in the Champions League. And we're starting with Juventus Turin, who made it up to 12 times reaching the quarterfinal in 21 participations. And on the fourth spot, we have Man United with 14 times and 24 participations. On the third sport is Real Madrid with 16 times in 25 participations. And then on the second spot is FC Barcelona with 18 times. And on the top spot is Bayern Munich, who did it now 19 times and reached the quarterfinals with 24 participations at all. And now we have a look at the table, and even if we compare participations to quarterfinals reached, Bayern Munich would top this one as well. So, everybody, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, have a nice weekend, and see you soon. Bye bye.